Hi, I'm Jonathan Mark Mendes, Painted Love, and I've teamed up with Dunelm to create some Christmas crafty projects. Many of us this year won't be seeing our close friends, so what could be nicer than a personalised hamper with a upcycled twist? Here we go. Got a little blade, and I'm just going to take the blade around the top. That's all that we need for later on. Remove all of your inner stuffing. So I've decided to go with Rust-Oleum Furniture Paint in Chalk White. So let's pop the can lid and apply some of this paint. Now, two thin coats is much better than one really thick coat. Take your time over it and build up the layers. Now for the second coat, just to thicken up the density of colour. As you can see, the basket is fully whited out now and dry. We're going to move on to some decoupage with Dunelm's fabulous paper napkins. So I'm just going to take my ruler and measure the size that I want. So it's about there and I'm going to fold to the eight centimetres and fold again. So we need to make strips to fit round the edges and then follow your folds. So there's our three strips. Lick your finger and press the corner of the napkin. One layer of the napkin will come off the back. These napkins are three ply. Repeat that process, which will reveal a very thin, transparent layer ready to decoupage. So I've decided to decant some craft glue into a bowl. I'm going to use my really soft brush again. Basically, just want to go over the top spreading out a nice even coat. We're only going to work each side at a time. Firstly, take one of your strips. I'm just going to tear that edge, that one end, just to make it a little bit less neat and tidy, if that makes sense. And I'm going to lay in the first piece, drop it into place. Let's bring in the cellophane from the beginning. You're going to place that over the top. This will create a lovely barrier so it means that you can use your fingers to smooth down all of the decoupage. And then we can move on to the next strip. Again, I'm going to take off the end just so it's a kind of jagged edge. So it blends when we come to this side, drop into place, gently does it. Repeat this all the way around the basket, then leave to thoroughly dry through add another layer of craft glue. It'll add some strength and durability and it should just withstand a little bit of moisture if we're leaving this on somebody's doorstep. When we uh, wrap the whole hamper up with some cellophane, I want to embellish it with uh, contrasting colours to the decoupage. And I've came up with this little concept. I'm going to bundle these up um, in the three colours that I find in the napkins. So I've got Dunelm's gift wrap once again. Take a straight line on the gridded pattern. So all I'm going to do is about, hmm, about two centimetres. And I'm just going to literally fold one way, fold the other way, and keep on going all the way to the end. And that is the final fold. Separate it in half. Make a simple 45 degree angle across one side. And then pair it back together on the other side and you can cut back through. And what you should end up with is points like that. Fold half and half, and then go the opposite way, half and half. And that's what you should have. So now that you've got your central point, we're going to bring in some Dunelm ribbon, and we're going to tie through the centre part. I've got some thin double-sided tape. I'm just going to put it up to the front edge. Same on the other side. Remove the backing off the tape. That's it. And we're going to fold this back on itself. So right the way back, point to point. And then we're going to do the same on the return off there. Now you have to fold it right back onto itself and push your star together. 
So there's our second star. I'm going to do one more. So we now have three gorgeous stars coinciding with my colours. Now time to fill your hamper with parcels. Now every hamper comes with its own cellophane and bow. I'm going to pop in some gorgeous treats like this lovely reed diffuser. So the best way that I can teach you how to wrap your parcel is to bring the front forward and the back, kind of hold it centrally, and then we're going to concertina into the centre. And I'm just going to snip a little hole through there, and I'm just going to thread them through the little hole. Tie round the neck of the cellophane at the top. There you have it, a gorgeous doorstep hamper. If you've enjoyed today's project, please like, pass a comment, or even better, subscribe. I'll catch you next time.